mother and stepsister make her to do all housework. One day, King announced a ball to select a wife for the prince. All the young girls of the kingdom were invited to the ball. Stepsister dressed in their best gowns and went for the ball. Cinderella was left behind and started crying. She also wanted to attend the ball. Suddenly, her fairy godmother appeared and said, Don't worry, my child. I will help you. She turned six miles into horses and the coachman and the pumpkin in a big carriage. She touched Cinderella and magically Cinderella was dressed in most beautiful gowns with glass slippers. She told Cinderella she had to come before midnight. After midnight, the magic will end. Then Cinderella went for the ball. Prince saw her beauty and fell with love. They danced together. But when the clock struck twelve, Cinderella remembered fairy godmother words and then hurry started running to her carriage, leaving one of her glass slippers. <laughs> Prince announced that he married a girl whose feet will fit in the glass slipper. The search was organized. And then soon, Prince found that Cinderella's feet is fit in the glass slipper. They both got married and stay happily. Thank you. Let it go. Turn away and slam the doors. A very warm good morning to one and all. Present here. I am Rohi Bill. Doing my first A class from Avana Public School in Ghaziabad. Can you get on me? Which fairy tale? I will be narrating the story. Yes, Elsa or Randall, the Snow Queen, who is from Disney animated film Frozen. The story begins now. She was born with magical powers of ice and snow. She is very beautiful ability, but also just very scary. When she was young. She used her power to have fun and can control the temperature, make snowmen and give life to them. <coughs> Later she realized and get fear that her powers are monstrous. She isolated herself from the world for protecting her family and her kingdom. But love mad. She believed whoever is calling her is good. This is what she was born to do. Moral of the story is love is not a feeling, it's commitment. And above all a sacrifice. Thank you. Very good morning to respected principal ma'am, teachers and my dear friends. I, Ruhi Chaudhary, of great to be is going to tell a story in front of you all. The title of my story is A Woodcutter and a Fairy. Once there lived a woodcutter. He was very poor but an honest man. One day he climbed on the tree to cut its branch. Suddenly his eggs fell into the river. He said, oh no, I lost my eggs. I don't know how I would get my eggs back and support my family. Hearing his voice, suddenly a fairy emerged from the river and asked, what happened? The woodcutter said, actually my eggs fell into the river. The fairy said, don't worry, I will get it for you. The fairy went into the water and brought out a silver eggs. And asked, tell me, this is your eggs? The woodcutter said, no, my eggs handle was made of wood. The fairy said, let me get it done for you. The fairy went inside the water and came out a gold eggs and asked, Tell me, this is yours? This is yours? Again the woodcutter said no. The fairy went again and now she had woodcutter's eggs and asked, 
This is your eggs. The both kitchen side. Yes, this is my eggs. The spider said this is your eggs, but you can also have other two because you have told the truth to me. Um, the moral of the story is honest is the best policy. Thank you. Morning, Miss Patrick, Principal, Ma'am, Teacher, Son, my heart, dear friends. My name is Kamna from Class Two B. Today I am telling you a story. The title of my story is The Princess and the Frog. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess who had a golden ball. One day, while playing in the garden, the ball fell into the pond. She was very upset. While she sat there crying helplessly, a frog hopped out of the pond and asked why she was crying. She told him about her golden ball. The ugly frog said, I can help you get your ball. But what will you give me in return? I will give you anything you want. Promised the princess. The frog dived into the water and fetched ball for her. The princess was very happy. The frog reminded her, remember that you promised me. Well, I want to be your friend, eat with you and sleep with you. The princess hated the idea. But she agreed and ran back to the palace. She told everything to her father. The king was very kind. He told her to keep her words. The princess picked him up angry and threw him to the floor. Then the frog turned into a handsome prince. He told that he had been under the spell of witch. The prince and princess fell in love. They were married, lived happily ever after. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Static principal ma'am teachers and my dear friend. My name is Admi Negi. I study in class 1A. Today I am going to tell you fairy tale story Princess and the Frog. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. On her birthday, the king, her father, gave her a gift, golden ball. Golden ball, her favorite toy, was her favorite toy. One day, she tossed in the ball. Ball and ball dropped into the pond. Princess started crying. Princess started crying. There are the boys. Why are you crying, princess? She looked here and there. No one was there. But there was a ugly frog into the pond. Princess said, I lost my golden ball. Don't worry, I will help you. But you promise to be my friend. Princess said, okay, yes, I promise. Frog bought her ball. Princess was very happy. She picked the ball and ran away. At the dinner time, she heard a voice. Open, open the door, princess. Let me in. King, King asked princess. She, and she told everything to his father. King said, fulfill your promise. She opened the door. It was a gay frog. He frog entered frog entered the castle. Frog ate with her and wanted to sleep with her. Princess saw a dirty ugly frog with princess. She threw the frog to the wall. Frog disappeared. 
unhandsome friends sitting. A very good morning to respected teachers and my dear friends. I present Jindal of Great Poop B. Today I will speak a story about Cinderella and the Prince. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella. She lived with her cruel stepmother and stepsisters, where she was treated as a servant. One day, an invitation to a royal ball arrived. The prince was looking for a bride, and everyone in the kingdom was invited. Her stepmother ordered new gowns for her daughters, but not for Cinderella. Cinderella worked day and night to prepare the new dress in time. On the day of the ball, her stepmother and stepsisters were so angry to see her looking so beautiful. They tore up the dress and left without her. Cinderella began to cry when all of a sudden her fairy godmother appeared and said, Don't cry, my child. You shall go to the ball. Cinderella said, But I don't have a dress to wear. Her fairy godmother waved her magic stain and Cinderella's rat turned into a beautiful new cow. Then our fairy godmother found six mice playing with the pumpkin patch. She touched them with her magic stick and the pumpkin turned into a beautiful coach and the mice into six white horses and one coachman. Fairy godmother said to her, you can go, but magic will last until midnight. You must come back by then. When she entered the ballroom, the guests were struck by her beauty, and the stepsisters and stepmother didn't know who she was. Cinderella danced with the prince. She forgot about the time. She is the clock is approaching midnight so she ran away from there but one slipper fell off from his foot the prince had fallen in love with cinderella the moment he saw her he found her slipper and declared i will marry the girl whose foot fits in this slipper. The prince and his servants took the slipper to every house in the kingdom. But it didn't fit any of the woman who tried it on. Her stepmother and stepsisters also tried it, but it didn't fit. The slipper fits Cinderella's foot perfectly. The prince took her to the palace married her and she became princess. They lived happily ever 